Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this Sabbath that we can gather together and uh, read your word and, and have the opportunity to share it with others and hope that we uh, share something that's uh, worthwhile to somebody that they can uh, glean a little bit of information from. In the name of Yeshua, our Savior. Amen. Well, I was looking at this... Uh, First Peter uh, chapter 2 is the last few verses there starting with 21 and it caught my eye and somebody saying the, the same thing that Paul says but Peter's saying it so uh, for you verse 21 for you were called into <coughs> this because the Messiah also suffered on your behalf leaving an example behind for you so that you could follow in his footsteps that is what really caught me follow in his footsteps then 23 uh, three, uh, you, who, who did not sin and who no deceit was found in his mouth when he was reviled he did not revile in return while suffering. He was non-threatening, but he gave himself over to the one who judges right, righteously, who took away our sins or died for our sins himself by means of his body on the tree, so that by dying to our sins, we could live in righteousness, whose wounds you were healed for you were being led astray like sheep but you have now been returned by the shepherd and overseer of your lives yeah well 22 really stood out to me who did not sin neither as guilty found in his mouth um, and we're supposed to follow after him. So. Right, and so I just said before that was followed his footsteps. And that's where I mentioned that Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Imitate me as I imitate the Messiah. And uh, uh, if he didn't sin, and we all know the definition of sin is transgression of the law or transgression of commandments that are set forth by, by, yeah. by fathers. And, uh, um, you know, the just stands out that you hear a lot of people oh we don't you know that's that's been done away with we don't have to do that no more we don't have but, to but, follow these these rules yeah and, and then why is it telling us to follow in his footsteps i mean did he give us a a false trail did he uh, did he build a road to nowhere and we're supposed to take a different road a different path than he followed I mean, if his footsteps, we call it, I did a lot of tracking when I was in the Border Patrol, but uh, I learned how to track, and when I found footsteps, I followed those footsteps. When I uh, come here and I said, well, he, I'm not going to follow those steps. I'm going to go take this other road over here, and maybe I'll find this guy down here someplace, but I already know he went that way, but that's the same thing with uh, Yeshua. He went that way. Why don't we go that way? What's real interesting, so in the bottom of my little footnotes um, for 24, it says, bear our sins. The word bear comes from the Greek uh, anonymous, which means to take upon oneself. Yeshua, through his death, took upon or absorbed the sins of mankind. In so doing, doing, he provided an everlasting anointing for those who live accordingly to righteousness, which righteousness is 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 not to sin, and sinning is transgression of the commandments, guidelines, and instructions, which is the law. Well, bottom line, righteous means living right, and living right means following the guidelines. I just uh, recently had a an acquaintance, a friend. Purchase a used vehicle, and he drove it for a little while, and once it broke down on the road, 
he had a he had an hour or two before he finally got a hold of me and I came and picked him up to read the owner's manual of that vehicle. He had not he'd been driving that car for several days without reading the owner's manual. And he had the chance to read the owner's manual. And he discovered that that particular vehicle required diesel and not gasoline. And he had put several gallons of gasoline in that engine and driven it. And it worked. But it broke down. It didn't, it didn't have what it was supposed to have in it. it supposed to have diesel. But had he read that book that owner's manual previous to driving it and previous to throwing it, putting gasoline in it, he would have known that it was a diesel engine and not a gasoline engine because there's no mention anywhere else on that vehicle that it is a diesel and not a gasoline. It's not on the gas cap. It's not on the dash. It's in the owner's manual. And I've uh, compared, and you have too, compared the Bible to the owner's manual of a vehicle or any other piece of equipment. It's our owner's manual. Well, it's it's named Bible for a reason. B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. And if we'll read the basic instructions, but no, we want to go down to the middle of it and discard the first two-thirds or three-fourths of the, of the book and just read the, the last part of it. But if you start from the beginning and go through, you're getting the basic instructions before leaving Earth. And then really those basic instructions are included in the first five books of the, of the Bible. And if you read that, you've got everything you need to know. And to understand Paul, I just I had a thing that I, I posted on my Facebook where someone showed me where... To understand, uh, to understand Paul, you have to understand Torah. Oh, of course, because that's what he's <laughs> preaching from. But it, it really it comes down, even if you don't uh, get in there studying all the Old Testament, if you do this, you could fall in his footsteps, who did no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. Well, right there, if you just follow Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he kept the Sabbath. He Sure, he healed the sick and, and uh, on, on the Sabbath, which is fine according to the Torah because you do good on the Sabbath. But there's no incidents in there where he broke anything. There's no mention of him uh, uh, pulling into a, a, a roadside cafe and ordering a ham sandwich. And he didn't eat pig. We don't, why should we? He kept the Sabbath. He uh, followed the Torah. And if we want to know what the Torah was, just do what he did. And then back to WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, he would he would keep his Father's commandments. Just like he said, I do nothing that I do not see my Father uh, do or tell me to do. And that's if we just follow him and walk in his footsteps. We got it covered. Yep, yep, I completely agree. So I hope this message goes out to some people that maybe haven't understood or grasped this concept. Um, may Elohim bless you. Um, and I suggest go read all of uh, 1 Peter 2 uh, so you get more, even more context. And until uh, next time, brothers and sisters.